the king of the wasteland. Well, good morning, good morning world. I'm back here inside the, the workshop apparently. And I've been killing a bunch of rats lately. Oop. Alright, and the evidence disappeared. Okay, I haven't killed anything. I'm just an adorable little crit critter. Yay! Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Time to kill some more things. Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. Okie dokie. Boing. Ooh. Nice. So, what do I do with this? Oh, I go back. Ah, I used it to pry open this door. Of course. Oh, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't use it. Anyway. Hmm. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Hmm. Any loot? No. No. Alright. So do I dig in into it or what? What do I do? Uh oh. Ah, that pipe was weak. Boing. Brr, 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 brr. Whoa. It's what? time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Trying. Trying, trying, trying. Probably gonna be more rats in my way. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Skitter, 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 skitter. This looks poisonous. Do I interact or avoid? Huh. I probably avoid. The mooks oh. produce biomatter oh. in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of, uh, what? Uh. of any uh. living being when absorbed, including you. No, you're not the one. Ouch. Ow. Ah. Bam, 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 bang. I can do that too. Shop speed. Bio points. Almost there. So we'll probably find out what bio points do. Oop. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. I know. I have noticed. Itchy trigger finger. There we go. Bioballs, special powers at any time. Alright. I'll do that later. Any loot? No? Alright. I should probably heal myself. Oh, I'm regenerating. No need then. Bitch. On a leash. I'm not on a leash. Ooh. Oh, 
Hello. Is that our treasure? Hey, what the? Did I climb the wall? No! Oh. Damn it. Trying that again. Okay. I have to time this better. There we go. Treasure! Oh. Alright. It's probably good. Ow. Damn it. Grab on tight. Try. Some sort of oil drum. A lot of empty rooms. Trash. All uh, right. Is that a spaceship? Toxin all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Well, that's, that's good for them. Oh, I want to bring this. Oh. Hello. Uh huh. Alright. Uh Oh Alright. How do I switch? Oh there we go. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Alright. How have I seen this before? There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Oh. Well, all right then. See if we can do the wall jumping. Oh, I can't. No, wait. No, I'm just double jumping. All right. Oh, the sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. 
It's coming from behind that door. Let's go look. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Uh... It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Uh... Hope I'm rotating the right way. Because I don't have many moves. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Uh -huh. These are there very you difficult. Go. Do I get experience for these? Or... Oh. What the? Huh? Air, air, what? Airstrike? The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Oh. Oh. More rats. Let's focus on finishing one at a time. Made it count. Oops. I don't know if I can fight this many. Wait, these guys are just scavengers? Cutting edge. down. I think I've taken three. Damn it! That's going to be the There we go. Oh, wow. Of me. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Oof. Wait, what backup? Oh, their backup. Yay! What the hell? What's this? What kind of loot is it? Huh. I don't know, but there seems to be a lot of it. And I'm taking all of it. Ooh, a rope. Uh, 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 Alright. Oop. That's interesting. Yeah. A new friend, an old friend. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark a facial scar to remember the past. 
It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Yeah. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. He understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. So, what's up with the rodent Elvis, though? That's a little... You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. All right. Why is he so big? Uh, I think I'm just really, really small. Yep, yep. Ah! Ah. And how far am I going? Whee! Don't fall off and die. I'm just a cat. I'm not a child. I'm just a child. Wee. Wee. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Oh, will it grow strong enough? Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You 
you'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of ki released from the nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. All right. So I'm gonna smack some potatoes. Get away. Send me beating the shit you out of that thing. that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. You better be. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. Huh, great. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. So just shove it into the dirt. I have to go all the way back. Dum 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 dum. Running, running. Oops. Oop. Huh. That's a ground pound. I'm gonna shove a potato in the dirt. There you go. Oh, that's a powerful potato. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Well, yeah, I shouldn't make you worry. <laughs> no, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Oh. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Oh. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Alright. 
Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east route. Are these names difficult to pronounce? Oh, yeah, Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Vunko Vuntu. Valu alu Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. Yeah, so one hour. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'll take it. Main quest complete. Alright, now I can dilly dally and do fetch quests. Oh, a new quest. Alright. Well, I guess that's it for today though. I did some things. I got to murder a lot more things. Look at my cute little face. What an adorable. Yes, I. Have a good night.